Hello there. Welcome back to Grandma Ray Don't Play and I'm Rachel. Okay, I'd like to show you today how to make some chicken and rice soup. Yes, we're going to make chicken and rice soup. Now remember, you can substitute the chicken for turkey uh, if you want to use turkey because you know you're going to have Thanksgiving. This is continuing with the Thanksgiving series. And you're going to have that leftover turkey. So what else could you do with it? Uh, you could make uh, chicken soup. I mean, sorry, turkey soup. Or you can make uh, turkey salad. There's a number of things that you can do. So today I'm going to show you how to make the chicken soup. And the only thing, thing you have to do is substitute the chicken for the turkey. Okay? Alright, let's do it. Thumbs up. Share the video, subscribe, check out my links below if you'd like to support me and this channel. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so right now I want to show you how to, well, I'm going to introduce you to everything, okay? Let me start this over. Okay, let me introduce you to everything. So I have this large pot here. I have water about maybe half, half of it is water up to about there. Okay, and we're going to be adding some chicken broth. You, you usually flavor your chicken soup with uh, some chicken broth. In my case, mine is in a powdered form. So we're going to add one, two, three heaping tablespoons of chicken broth. Now I want to add, to make soup you usually use celery, carrots, and onions. I do not have any celery today, so I'm going to go with the onions and the carrots. But if you have celery, please add that um, to your soup, okay? Diced carrots. This is one very large carrot that I cut up. And so we're going to add that. Okay, and the next thing I want to add is some garlic paste. You know, garlic paste is going to really bring that flavor up. And it also fights off the flu and the cold. I have one heaping tablespoon of garlic paste. Just want to clean every drop out of this little container I have. Which is nothing but a little corner. Nothing much. But I'm going to add it. Okay. Now, I want to um, let this actually start cooking for about five minutes. Um, and then I'm going to add the chicken, okay? This is Sassoon Everything. It's the seasoning that I'm going to add. Bringing that flavor up. These are some other items that we're going to be adding. Diced tomatoes. We can go ahead and add that now. Okay, I added about a half a can. This is a 
14.5 ounce can. I used half the can. Okay. Okay, let's add some black pepper. And some adobo. Okay, let me show you what we have left. These are some white potatoes. I have some rice cooking in the rice cooker that we're going to add once the soup is completely done. Then we're going to add the rice because I want to um, add the rice the last minute because I don't want the rice to end up too soft or mushy. Okay, this is three very large chicken breasts that I cut up. Boneless chicken breasts. Okay, so we're going to let this uh, start for about maybe 15 minutes and it'll start to boiling and at that point I'm going to add the chicken. So the potatoes and the rice I'm going to add last. When I get three fourths the way done I'm going to add the green beans and some mixed vegetables. Okay, alright, so we'll be back. Thank you. Okay, so our carrots and onions are boiling now. You can see the steam. Okay, so now we're going to add our three chicken breasts, boneless chicken breasts that I cut up. Okay, so now I'm going to let this cook for another, uh, let's go with another 20 minutes. And then I'm going to add the vegetables and the, um, and then we'll continue on at that point. Okay, 20 minutes on that. Be back. Thanks. Okay, so now that our soup have been cooking a total of 25 minutes. We started out with about five minutes for the onions and carrots, and then I added the meat, and it's been cooking for an additional 20 minutes since I added the meat. So now we're gonna do our vegetables. I'm gonna add the green beans. That's one whole bag. And this bag is 12 ounces. And I'm going to add, this is about 2 pounds of mixed vegetables. Okay, now I want to taste the flavor, see what I'm missing. I'm missing everything, it's bland, bland, bland. So I'm going to add some more chicken broth. One, two, three. Now that's a total of six heaping tablespoons of chicken broth. I'm going to add some more sassoon everything. I'm 
also going to add some chicken gravy. I, if I had some cream of chicken soup, I'd add that. Let me just check and see if I have any first. If not, I'm going to put this chicken gravy in it. Anything to thicken it up. Also, you could thicken it up with flour. I don't want to add the flour. Uh, but let me see what else I can come up with and I'll show you. One second. Okay. I did find another package of chicken gravy and I have this one here that is okay it's maybe half of a package so the package is three ounces and so I'm gonna do maybe four ounces total of the chicken gravy and this is just to thicken up the broth just a little uh, we don't want it um, where it's running watery but also we want some kind of um, thickness to it okay okay so let's do that while we're waiting on our vegetables to heat up now if I pour it in just like that it's gonna uh, lump up so I'm going to I'm going to take some broth out into this cup. And then I'm going to add the chicken gravy separately so that I have a chance to blend it in better. So I'm going to put the half package in first. Okay. So you can see by putting it in a smaller amount of liquid, you can I can get it down to a nice smooth texture. Okay, so I'm gonna pour that in. I need some more broth so I can mix this next package of gravy. I'm just going to take out the vegetables that fell in there. Okay, this is my whole package of chicken gravy. Okay, we're going to mix this in. This is definitely thick. Let me show you. See, watch. See, it's coating the spoon a little. Okay. Now I'm going to pour that in.
Okay, you begin to see it's a little better, but not quite. Okay, I want to get some more broth out and finish my package of gravy. Okay, let's put this last little bit of gravy in here. Spoon. Okay, we're good with this. Add a nice little color to it. Okay, we're going to let the vegetables come up to temp. And remember, we got to add our potatoes white potatoes which I took the, the the potatoes from this slice uh, white potatoes so it comes in the can and slices like this so I cut it once and then cross so I ended up with four pieces out of this one slice and so I did the whole can like that Okay, while we're waiting, why don't I give you the word of the day. The word of the day. The word of the day is help. Help. Let's start the sentence with this. I need help doing my math. I need help with the dishes. I need help watching the kids. I need help financially. I need help with my bills. I need help managing my credit better. I need help making decisions. I need help. Well, who are you going to get this help from? Please, don't seek out the help from someone who cannot do those things for themselves. Seek out that help from someone who you look up to as an example. Someone that you've seen conquer those areas. And don't be ashamed to ask them for help. The word of the day is help. Ask the right person and you'll get some help. Okay, let's check on our soup. Okay. Now we're going to add our potatoes. The vegetables have came to the top, so that's how you know that the uh, vegetables are done. The green beans and the corn and the peas came right to the top. Okay? Alright, so we're going to add that can of white potatoes. 
If you don't have a can, you can cut up a potato and you can put the potato in if you're going to do that and it's raw. You want to put it in maybe after the soup has been cooking for 30 minutes. Then put the potatoes in because you don't want it in and cooking too long and it breaks down to nothing. That's why I waited till the last minute to put these potatoes in. Okay, so we're going to let that come back to a boil one more time, which is probably about five minutes. And then I'm going to um, taste it. And then I'll cut it off and add the rice. You want to see that reveal. Okay? Okay. Give me about five minutes. Okay, I want to take a final taste. Oh, guys, the flavor is there. It is so good. So good, guys. Oh, the flavor is awesome. Awesome. Okay. Okay, so now I would like to um, plate up the soup. I can cut it off. It's done. I'm going to plate up the soup and let you see, and then I'll put the rice right in the middle. It kind of helps to make you want to eat it more, you know what I mean? It's all about presentation. And so, if you want to entice people, rather than just mixing it all in, which you could do that, it's nice if you could just put that rice directly in the middle. So let me show you, okay? Thanks. Okay, guys, look at that. See how I put the rice right in the middle? I put the soup in first, and then the rice right in the middle, and a little bit of soup on the top for decoration. How about that, huh? Okay, so let's taste. Okay, guys, I have everything. I have the rice, the chicken, Wow. You almost forget that you're eating soup. It's really flavorful and good. Okay. You got it. Thumbs up. This could be your appetizer for Thanksgiving because this is still the Thanksgiving series. And remember, you can substitute the chicken for turkey. You have it both ways. Okay, thank you. Thumbs up. Share, share, share this video. Subscribe. Check out my links below. Love you. Bye-bye.